Hello there you guys, welcome to another of my live videos and today I'm just going to be officially updating you on some more latest news about Ronald Koeman and that and about Everton. Now apparently Ronald Koeman now is under pressure of losing his job with Everton Football Club because we have seen managers that have been sat so far. We've seen Ancelotti sat from Munich, we've seen Frank de Boy sat from Palace and we have seen Craig Shakespeare also that has been sacked from Leicester City as well. Everton suffered a 5-2 defeat to Arsenal today and it did say before the game that if Everton loses this game Koeman's job could be, could be under serious pressure and did confirm that Graeme Sunderson said the Everton fans won't accept Koeman for much longer and Koeman has come out and accepted that uh, he's actually admitted that his uh, Everton future is uh, uncertain um, at the moment and the Everton board have reacted to the defeat to Arsenal and he could be on the verge of getting sacked Ronald Koeman because Everton have played nine games in the Premier League so far this season and they've only won two games of Everton so far this season in all competitions they've played 12 games and only won two games and considering you know it wasn't their objective called you know objective called con considering the amount of money that Everton spent in the current uh, chance window in the August window they spent over a hundred million pounds on players and I think they have now fallen into the relegation zone so Koeman's job could be under serious serious pressure but apparently the press are reporting now, the English press are reporting that David Moyes could be favoured to return back to Everton after before he was there for over a decade was a David Moyes in charge of Everton Football Club. David Moyes, as I said, he got really he got Sunderland relegated. He had a bad spell with uh, Real Sociedad. He didn't do so good with Manchester United. He only had a short tenure with Manchester United. He'd only been at Manchester United for a uh, 10 months but he'd been at Everton for over a decade you know he started his career with Preston North End David Moyes with Everton you know he was he was there for over a decade you know he was part he was part of the club when they qualified for, for the third round qualifying round for the Champions League in 2005 also got Everton to the 2009 FA Cup final as well so he did a very very good job at Everton but since then you know he's been a very very bad manager did very very bad with Manchester United didn't have a clue with Manchester United never dealt with top players had a bad spell with Real Sociedad and did really really bad with Sunderland and ended up uh, getting them uh, currently uh, relegated so now Apparently, Koeman's job could be under pressure with Everton Football Club. So, is he the next manager to be at the door from Everton Football Club? And considering the amount of money they spent, Everton, they should be doing better than this. We know they've had tough games. They've played the likes of us. They lost 4-0. They've played the likes of City, got a draw. they played Chelsea, lost. You know, they played Arsenal, stay and lost. So, they have had tough games of Everton Football Club. But Koeman's job now could be under pressure uh, with Everton Football Club and... Uh, as it did say, you know, Everton lost to Leon, you know, in the Europa League as well. And Everton are in a bad run of form. So his job could be under pressure with Everton Football Club. And Mo they've got replacements on, but Moyes could be the favourable to return back to Everton Football Club. And he did very, very well with Everton, did Moyes. But, you know, he's, he's not a winner, he's Moyes. As I said, he's never won silverware, really. But he did a good job with Everton. He didn't do too bad with Preston either. But he had a bad spell with us. He did really, really bad with... Um, Real Sociedad, and he got uh, Sunderland relegated as well, did uh, David Moyser in the current uh, process. So that's really the latest news to really um, update you with um, on that. Also, to, to update you on is, you know, Manchester United, we know, um, you know, are linked uh, with the... Uh, uh, Carlos Salou, uh, the current Valencia player for the reserve team, made 39 points and scored three goals. Man United have reportedly today been in talks with Valencia. We're convinced we can get a 30 million deal over the line for the player. A 30 million deal over the line for the player. And we're convinced we want to get him before the summer transfer window. And he apparently he has got a 70 million buyout clause. He's a player that's who jo he's been at Valencia for over a decade. He joined the U he joined the U system in 2005. So he's been there over a decade. He's only been in the Valencia team since 2016. Um, as the uh, current uh, player um, as well. So he's only been in Valencia first team since 2016. He made his debut for the reserve team in May 2015. He also uh, scored his first goal in December 2015 for the reserve team, but he has been in the first team since December 2016 as well. So Man United have reportedly been in talks. Today's results, Arsenal beat Everton 5-2. Uh, and Tottenham beat Liverpool 4-1 and Tottenham are very, very consistent. They have been three seasons. Pochettino, very, very good manager. Um, as I said, and Tottenham have been very, very good for three seasons. Um, as I said, and Harry Kane yet again gets his name on the score sheet twice. Forever. And I said, best Premier League striker now, you know, as it stands the table now, we slipped up at Huddersfield, but we currently still sit second with five points behind Manchester City. We can't afford any more slip-ups and Tottenham and our joint points with us. Uh, they're on the same points as us in third place and they are now starting to win. 
they're doing very, very well away from home and now they're starting to pick up points at Wembley as well at Tottenham uh, Hotspur. And I said Liverpool defensively are very, very poor and they need to address this in the January transfer window. As I said, Klopp is partly to blame for this because they should have sold Coutinho in the August window that they raised the money, that they got better players in such as Van Dijk and maybe a prolific goal scorer and that's what Liverpool need in their team. This is what Liverpool need and they need to uh, currently um, address this. But Tottenham won comfortably today, Arsenal won comfortably today. So, two of the North London clubs won comfortably today in a good uh, suck session uh, in the post. So, anyway, guys, this is latest news about Ronald Koeman. He could be on the verge of getting sacked from Everton. What do you think of this situation? Put your comments, likes, below on the channel. Subscribe, as always, and take it easy, and I'll see you all later, guys. And, guys, before I go, Kane, very, very good. Won the Golden Boot last couple of years. Uh, good at physically going around defenders. Made over century appearances now for Top Lots, but... Made, no, scored over a century of goals now for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Nearly hit a century of goals now for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club in the Premier League. Made his debut against Hearts in 2011. And for three years, Tottenham being consistent. Kane's been absolutely fantastic. Um, as I said, won the Premier League player of the month five times. Won the PFA as well. And Real Madrid has reportedly, as I said earlier, convinced they can get him next summer. But as I said, he will not come cheap. And Kane has not googled a Tottenham exit out. So anyway, that's everything to update today. Jot your comments below on the channel. Take care, guys, and take it easy. I'll see you later on. Bye.